we are now getting ready to do some work on the Indiana property today. So since we're gonna go do some work on the Indiana property today, we're gonna be taking the tractor, of course, that's why we've got it loaded up. Came down here last night, got down here in the evening. Not terribly late, but there was no daylight. So we're gonna get on over to the property here and do some bush hogging. <laughs> because the place needs a lot of mowing done. this mowed back here this was all just about as tall as this stuff here so it was all pretty overgrown a lot of this stuff along the woods was actually briars and saplings and just a lot of small woody brows a lot of woody shrubs and stuff so we mowed that all back just enough to where now we could plant a food plot here and still have an access road in case the uh, railroad company or the power line company has to come out here they can still access and not have to worry about running over our food plot so i think we should be in pretty good shape back here the father-in-law is back now he's got the atv his atv and stuff got the lane all mowed over here got the lane mode got mowed back along the railroad tracks got quite a bit cleared out we also cleared a couple spots for food plots back in the woods there pretty excited got quite a bit done a couple days later here and i uh, went from being 70s to frosty in the mornings again but on the bright side we do have a few super cool things happening today so we did meet our goal with selling all that stuff that we had around the barn to be able to buy an ATV. We also got the new tires in for the Cadillac. So what we're gonna be doing this morning is taking the Cadillac, dropping it off to get the new tires mounted and balanced first thing this morning. And then what we're also gonna be doing is heading down to buy an ATV today. Because I'm back now, I completely forgot the truck keys. And by the time you guys see these videos now, we're about a week ahead or two. Actually, probably close to two weeks ahead on schedule. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because we may have announced the winner for the first gen already. I'm not saying we have for sure or not, but I don't know what the schedule is going to look like by the time this video actually goes up. I know there's going to be people asking when they see this truck, you know, where's the winner? Where's the winner? Well, with the way our video schedule is now, we're a week or two ahead on content. So you may be seeing this video and the winner may have already been announced on our other pages already. We are in the first gen and I, I constantly have a few people ask, how's the little one doing? Well, how are you? He's waving, see? He's doing just fine. He's doing very, very well. Can you do the force? May the force be with you. It's one of his new favorite things. He does it sometimes. Anyways, we got Reagan driving the first gen. This is actually her first time ever driving the first gen. So, how do you like it? First impressions. Can't reach the pedals. <laughs> she can't reach the pedals, she says. I don't know how we're moving down the road then, but I mean. I'm, not, I'm literally pushing with my tippy toes. Safe. 
it's safe, you know, that's the worst that can happen. On our way to pick up the Cadillac right now, we gotta stop by the bank and cash a check I got from somebody off Facebook Marketplace, which I know sounds super sketchy, but I know where the guy works, and we have a bunch of mutual friends on Facebook. We used to go to the same church, and he seemed like a super cool dude. I'm like, you know what, that's fine, I'll take the check, but if it doesn't go through, I will find you. Now, I'm not actually gonna like stalk him, track him down over 250 bucks, but I do know where he works now, so uh, he said, dude, he's like, the check will go through, I promise, but I just don't have time to stop by the bank this morning on my way to work. So I said, whatever, not a big deal. We sold a few things this morning on our way to go get the Cadillac, and then we're gonna hook up the trailer and head down to buy an ATV. You excited about that? She's excited about the ATV thing because it's almost it's almost just like her grandpa's. I think it's like a two-year newer model, but it's like the same thing. It's a rancher, uh, four-wheel drive, all that stuff. Only 531 miles on it, and it's a 2004. That's flipping crazy. I've been looking at a bunch of them, I know. And most of the ones that I've been looking at have had like 2,500, 3,500, 4,500 miles on them. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, who drives their ATV this much? And I was looking at one and it had almost 7,000 miles on it. And I'm thinking, I mean, it is 17 years old, but that's a lot of four-wheeler riding, you know? But, you know, I guess it's not that hard to do that if you use it on a daily basis. We found one that's super low miles for about the same asking price as all these other ones we've been finding. And I really don't want to pitch up a bunch of extra money to buy a new one. So we got cash and this is all from crap that we sold from around the barn. And it's not all hundreds, but all that cash is from stuff that we just had sitting around the barn that we have no use for. We don't use it, we don't need it. And we're gonna replace all that stuff that we didn't need with something that we're gonna use a lot. So, pretty excited about it because it's not really like free money, but it kind of feels like it. We did get the new tires on the Escalade. Man. Thing looks freaking so good. Just a little bit of poke, just a little bit of poke. They look really good, but I will say this, they're much noisier than a factory setup. That's for sure. On the road, the whole fam is in the vehicle, and uh, you might be able to kind of hear these Venom Power tires. The road noise, whistling in the wind. Yeah, um, car, obviously you never heard that before, the tires that were on it, but whatever. It's the cost of looking good, I guess. With the music on, you really can't hear them anyway, but, you know, which is normally how we're always driving around. We always have music on. So, uh, I, I don't know. They're not like, to me, they're not like so loud that they're obnoxious, but they're definitely noticeably different compared to like a stock all season tire. We kind of got uh, the last deal sold out from under us, and I'm gonna kind of go into detail on what happened with that because. I'd explained in the beginning of the video, we found an ATV, it's like super low hours, it's a Honda Ranch or whatever, like it was like a screaming deal for what I was finding. I just wasn't finding anything like that was like under three hours away that was like not like thousands of miles and like way overpriced, like my, my personal opinion of course. You know, I found one that was like super low hours, super low miles, and they were wanting four grand for it and I was like, this is about as good as a deal as I'm finding, I'm gonna take it. Because I was finding another one. I found a couple others and one of them had like 6,600 miles on it. And uh, he said, everything runs and drives perfect, four grand, you know, for the same exact thing, same year, same size, same four wheel drive, everything. I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass, you know, but, so that's kind of like where the average is what I was finding, is about that same price, just a lot more miles and hours on it. Basically, we agreed yesterday, on a price, which was the full price. Okay, I said, I'll give you full price. When's the soonest I can come see this thing? She said, as soon as you can come see it is tomorrow at 4 p.m. That's when we'll be back from work. This place is almost three hours away, keep in mind. So I said, okay, I'll be there four o'clock sharp. I get a message at 10 a.m. this morning, and she said, I hope you're not already on your way. We already sold the ATV. I said, what do you mean? She said, we sold it. I said, okay, well, what happened to the whole, the soon as we can sell it is 4 p.m. tomorrow. So if you can be here at four, it's yours. What happened to that whole ordeal? She's like, well, apparently my husband was talking to somebody else about it and got a full price offer this morning. And so he said that he sold it. I said, I'm kind of confused because you said you weren't available until four for either of you guys to meet up to sell it. 
and I already agreed to full price. Like I already told you, full price is what I'll pay, you know, because it was a good deal anyway. You know, I was like, I'll pay full price. Yeah, so all that being said, we just said scrap that. And, you know, she's she kind of felt bad about it. She's like, I don't know why he sold it out, you know, without telling me because, you know, I don't know if he had forgotten about, you know, how we had talked to you about it yesterday or what, but. You know, sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. He said he sold it, so, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, we found another one that's not a Rancher. It's not an 04. It's a bigger model. It's an 07. It's the Rincon 680. And I'm not saying that it's a definite that we're buying this thing, because anything can happen. We could get up here and completely dislike it, but, you know, it's got uh, 2,600 miles on it, about 600 hours, and they're asking, 4,000 bucks. He said everything runs and drives as it should. It's got two small uh, cracks in the plastics, nothing bad. And he said it comes with a winch, a plow, new seat cover, a bunch of stuff. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we're gonna go up here and see what we got. Keep in mind, we're trying to find something within this price range of what we made in terms of cash on all the stuff that we had laying here on the barn, which was just a hair over four grand. So we're trying to keep it around the four grand budget just because we want to only buy something. She said, you can buy it if you can pay for it with the money you get from crap laying around the barn. I don't know if it was just because she wanted crap sold and moved out of the barn so she had more room in there or if she really was just trying to motivate me to buy an ATV. I mean, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. It could have been a little bit of both. So we got it done and a uh, few more things to sell. A few more things to sell, but we'll use that money for accessorizing the ATV and getting some implements like a pull behind bush hawk but we'll, we'll talk about that in another video we made it back with the four-wheeler we'll give you a little look here keep in mind 14 year old four-wheelers you know not new well what do you think need some TLC need some TLC but we bought it with money from selling junk so that's a perk it's a 2007 Honda Rincon I think it's got just shy of 700 hours, just shy of 2,600 miles. They need some. They need some love. Oil yeah, probably needs an oil change. But I actually, funny thing is, I just checked the oil, and the oil looked good. But uh, needs clips, as you can see. Needs clips or real small bolts with black painted bolts and washers or nuts or whatever. I wouldn't mind taking the racks off and repainting them. It didn't even really get washed. You can see all the dirt on the plastics and stuff. But I will tell you what all it came with. So it came with a brand new front winch. Everything's already wired. He said that the winch wiring was all already done. So in and out, it's wired down. All it needs is the winch mounted and uh, installed. But it came with a brand new winch brand new seat cover and a worn front plow but you know it was four grand it's not new you know and it's an older four-wheeler but not having to withdraw any extra money based on uh, what we had just from stuff that we sold this is going to be much more usable around the farm and around the properties than you know junk just laying around so we're happy with it But I mean, everything works on it. I mean, it's, you guys gotta keep in mind, it was 4,000 bucks, and that ATV brand new in 07 was about $9,500. You know, so we're paying half the price of a new one. We're pretty happy with it so far. So far, so good. And if there's any tips that you guys have for these Honda Rincons, I don't know any like shortcomings that they may have. All I know is everybody always tells me, Honda's run forever, Honda's run forever, you know? Like I was looking at one the other day, had 6,600 some hours, not hours, my bad, that would be crazy, miles. And I was like, dude, that's that's a lot of miles, everything okay? He's like, everything runs perfect. He's like, all I've did is basic maintenance, redid the carb or whatever else. Did you shut it off? Okay, I was making sure, I was like, I'm like talking about how so far so good and then it like dies. I mean, I've had a lot of guys, you know, say that they've ran them forever. I mean, my dad had a two wheel drive in 94, it was like a 200-ish CC one as kids. We drove the crap out of that thing. 
I mean, I wouldn't doubt that four-wheeler had 20,000 miles on it. I mean, we just drove it everywhere. I drove it down to my uh, friend's house. I drove it around the property. I drove it around, I mean, just everywhere. We just drove that four-wheeler. If that says anything, it was a chain-driven one. We wore out the sprocket on it like three times throughout my childhood, and those are supposed to last a decent amount of time. I know a few people that own these, this exact model, actually, that they love them, so. We'll see, but we're gonna get to working on it here soon. Probably gonna take a bunch of stuff off and repaint it, refinish it, do some back to black on the plastics and stuff like that, new clips or small paintable bolts or something or black bolts for all the places where there's no clips or maybe change out all of them so they all match just cause there's you know some missing here and there. It'll be fun. So here's the leather that came for the seat. It's supposed to be a new seat cover. I don't really know how exactly those work, but that's what it is. A uh, plow mount bracket, brand new winch. And then here is the worn plow. It's adjustable side to side. You can see the notches in it. Just held on with pins in the back. And then I believe you're probably able to raise it and lower it with a winch, I'm guessing. And then here are the tires on the Cadillac. I showed you guys these earlier. Uh, so far, they ride, they ride good. They just make quite a bit of noise compared to what this had on before, which is expected to be different just because the tread pattern is a lot more aggressive than just like an all season, you know, dominantly road only use tire, of course. Uh, it sounds much different. You can actually hear the tire spinning versus before you never could. But you know, it's not obnoxious. Like if you have the volume on like 15 out of, I think it's like 100 that it goes up to or something crazy. That instantly basically will cancel out the ability to really hear the tires turning. So, I mean, that's not that big of a deal, but uh, it looks really good. They ride fine, they handle fine on the road. You can definitely feel them when you're making like sharp turns and stuff, you can feel them grab a little bit more. But um, overall though, so far so good. And we put about, I wanna say 300 miles on these tires today. And uh, I wouldn't say that I dislike them. I will just say that they're definitely, definitely a lot noisier than a factory all-season tire. So if you're somebody who's super sensitive to sound and that's the biggest concern of yours, you probably wouldn't like these as much on your SUV or your family vehicle. Um, but in terms of like on a truck like that, for example, you know, it's so loud in the front end with the engine running, you know, those old diesels, you never hear the tires anyways, you know what I mean? Unless you have the window down. But other than that, I mean, it would be totally fine, I'm guessing, and probably wouldn't bother anybody on an older pickup truck where there's so much noise going on anyway that the last thing you're concerned about is the sound of tires. If you guys would like to, who would like to see me go through and do some stuff like remove the front rack, rear rack, repaint them or finish them with like chassis saver or something that's not gonna chip so easy, maybe refinish the plastics or change out all the little plastic you know, clips with like some actual heavy duty stuff that's not gonna fall apart so easy, repaint a bunch of stuff on it. I mean, if you guys would like to see that, let me know. If not, also let me know so I don't go making videos on something you guys don't wanna see. Do not forget, if you wanna enter to win that 1997 five-speed 12 off Cummins dually right there, plus $5,000 cash, all you gotta do is go to lmpgear.com, place an order, and you're automatically entered to win that truck. It's that simple. It's a freaking sweet five-speed dually 12 valve. It's freaking awesome. Four-wheel drive, of course. If you guys want to enter to win it, go to lmpgear.com, and every $1 right now is 10 entries towards winning this truck. So get in while you can. It's freaking sweet. 10X entries are gonna end in just a few days, and this truck's gotta go to somebody. Might as well be you. Thanks so much. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.